In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to create this simplistic and reticent look. This look emphasizes the eyes, gives a look of innocence, yet perform well in pictures. It's suitable for characters like Yuki Shiro Tomoe from Roni Kenshin. As you guys know, the new movie is coming out next month and I'm so excited. To allow my makeup to last longer, I'm going to use a primer and then I'll use my favorite e.l.f. foundation. It looks like it's in a small little piglet um, case because I was traveling and I kind of just didn't want to take the whole big bottle. So next I conceal. I start by concealing my dark eye circles and then I move on to the blemishes. It's very important to make sure you have a good nice base because anime characters, they never have pimples. To conceal blemishes, just dab the product right on the center of it and then slowly blend out the edges. Next, I set everything with powder. Make sure you powder evenly, especially on top of your eyelid because a dry surface can allow your eyeshadow to stay longer. Next, I like to press everything down with a sponge because I think the finishing of a sponge is just so much better. Next, I'm going to moisturize my lips. I found this holy grail of lip moisturizer in Japan and I like it so much. Using this neutral medium brown color, I'm going to use a brush and go all over my eyelid i'm not doing anything dramatic with the eyes here i'm just placing colors at where they should be to add a bit of dimension to the eyes of course as usual i'm going to extend the color outwards because in line with my makeup i'm going to make the eyes look longer than they actually are of course i'm also going to extend the colors onto my lower lash line and then gently blend the edges out with a fluffy brush. The brush I'm using here is not very fluffy so I would recommend you getting a fluffier brush for blending. Next I use a neutral dark brown color and an angle brush to draw a fake crease. This will give the illusion of a higher double eyelid than I actually have. I'm actually going to draw it somewhere around my socket line. Next I line my eyes with a liquid eyeliner. I'm going to extend the liner beyond my actual eye to make my eyes look longer. I'm also going to keep the line as straight as I possibly can to give it a more peaceful and reticent image that Tomoe has come to represent. Next, I use an angled brush and some brown eyeshadow to line my lower lash line. Concentrating the colors on the triangular area where my upper and lower lash line meets. This will help to balance out the overall heavy upper eyelid. Then using this reddish orange color, I'm going to put it right in the center of my lower lash line and blending it slightly upwards. This little pop of red can help brighten the eye and make the eyes look naturally bigger and more innocent. So it really works for this kind of character where you want to have a big eye effect but you don't want to go heavy on the eyeliner. And then I apply my top and bottom lashes. Then I line my waterline with a champagne gel eyeliner. Using a neutral brown color, I'm going to contour my nose. To make the tip of my nose sharper, I'm going to add more colors on the tip of it. I'm also going to add some colors underneath my nose. This will help to make it look sharper than it actually is. Then blend everything out. Anime characters always have very sharp chin, so I'm going to add some contour powder on the sides of my face like this. This will help to slenderize my face and make my chin look sharper than it actually is. So basically, you add contour powder on places where you want it to recede and like not draw so much attention. With a clean brush, I'm going to apply a coral peach color to the bottom corners of my eyes and extending it out to the tip of my cheekbone. Blend it out very well and this technique will create a very cute and vulnerable effect. Next, I fill in my brows with a greyish brown eyeshadow. Just gonna extend the corners out like this. Next, time for highlight. So I'm just gonna use a shimmery beige eyeshadow to highlight the high points of my face. Like the usual place like my chin, my nose. 
the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. Next, I use Can Mix Lip Concealer to conceal the natural color of my lips. Then I will use this strong red lip color and dab it on the inner corners of my lip. So basically what I'm doing here is an ombre lip effect. Whatever product you use is fine as long as it works for you and it kind of creates this kind of effect that you're going for. You can actually stop here but I'm going to add a bit of glamour with some clear pink lip gloss. Yuki Shiro Toboe is a very reserved and quiet woman who can't really express herself very well but I think she is probably someone very very beautiful. The story of Tomoe and Kenshin in the manga was a very romantic tragedy and it really built who Kenshin became. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something and that's all. Bye!